Hello, everybody. I'm Kenneth Copeland, and um, this is Andre and Jenny. And so, uh, well, Jesus is coming today. <laughs> My mother would say, Kenneth, Jesus is coming this year. I said, Mama, that's what you said last year. Yeah, but he's coming this year. Yeah. She did that. She kept me aware of that all the time. She mm -hmm. talked about him all the time. She talked about him all the time, right up until the time she departed. Come on. And I and people are not talking about it. Mm -hmm. So we need to be we oh, need yes. to be talking right. about it. Right. Now this is something that's that's very interesting to me. Talent, God's rich deposit on loan to you. I uh Singing was always easy for me. I couldn't remember when I didn't do it. Hmm. And I had experiences like that. And uh, anyway, I thought it was mine. And there was a guy one time, he, he said, you have a nice little voice, but you'll never make a living with it. And I thought, hmm, you wait and see. Hmm. Then came up with that, that record. Right. I thought it was mine to use, and I did use it. And I used it to get whatever I wanted. Hmm. And then the Lord began to talk to me about that. And that's the reason I wanted to bring this up. Yeah. It was not mine. It was a gift that he gave me. Right, mm -hmm. right. And he asked me, but again, talk to me about it. And I was, I was in a meeting and just singing one day and it rose up inside me, you're selling the song. Mm -hmm. Well, that's what I used to do in, in nightclubs and things like that. You're selling the song. And I just stopped and I said, that's enough of that. Mm -hmm. I didn't explain it, but I waited it's almost a year before I sang anymore. Yeah, yeah. Because wow. it was his, it wasn't mine. That's mm. right, that's right. And if something is easy for you, you didn't do it. Mm. Mm. Praise God. And I might add this too, it's a grace. Mm. Yeah. It is a grace. And you have graces and develop them. Yeah. Amen. There's talent on the inside of you that Think about now what, what Andre was talking about, what God just downloaded mm. the, the, um, the engineering. Mm. Right. Mm. In the, he wasn't trying to get him to be an engineer. But the talent there, and it, and it is a talent. Yeah. Yeah. The talent there was the development of faith on. on a project that came from God yes. and you knew it and Jenny knew it and it is gonna happen one way or the other and yeah. it was based on God's word on. and it built a place that it was impossible for the engineers to figure out how That's to right. do it. That's right. That's right. It's, hmm. It seems easy, but there's a lot of prayer in this. Yeah, yeah. A lot of faith in it. Some people, math comes easy. Other people, it doesn't. It never did with me. Mm. One of the reasons why I was dyslectic and I, I mixed the numbers up, but nobody knew that back there then. Yeah. And, but I still have to read very carefully. Mm. But it's important. Well, we won't go any further yeah. than that. But, but that, that came up in me to, to bring See, that up. Brother Kenneth, what, what, I, what I've developed and what I'm, I'm growing in is to make sure I stay on the giving side of God. Oh, yes. Because if I'm on the giving side, yes. I'm on the receiving side. Absolutely. You see, as soon as I get into a side of me that allows doubt and fear to come, what it does is it robs from me where my spirit is listening continually to God. Because then I start allowing my natural senses to measure what God has for me in the natural, and I'm looking at it naturally and it doesn't work. I have to continually, and you have to continually allow your spirit mm -hmm. to be your, the guiding force yes, in your amen. life. 
Because if the Spirit is the guiding force in your life, then when you look at something, you're not looking at it from a perspective of a problem. You're looking at it from a perspective of if God has said it, this will be. This will be. He would have the plan. He would have the yes, plan for us. Right. Right. And, and, and do you remember right at the beginning last week, we, we spoke about that left and right. Mm. And I, I want to just touch back on that just for a moment because I want to bring this into, into something yet today that I really feel. Do you remember that that left side of, of, of your mind is that cause to doubt, mm -hmm. that, that part of you that says, hold on, doubt and fear is going to dominate you. That right side is that receiving side. Mm -hmm. There's two different sides to where we've got to be. We've got to step into that right side. Now, the, when, when you put this all together and you look at the scripture and you look at that, that and, and I, I want to read it in a way that maybe you've never seen it before because do you, do you remember Matthew 6, it speaks of this. It says, when you give, don't let the left hand know what the right hand is in. The side of you that brings doubt, allow the side of you that allows the increase to come forth, don't let it affect you. What that means, when, when you read it out in detail, and, and I, I wrote it out in a way that is from the original that I want to read to you for a full understanding. Do not let the part of you that causes doubt allow the part of you which receives and accepts the blessing to stop gaining and bringing forth in your life. That when you give, when you put into practice what we know, when you give that seed that we gave, when you give, may it be from the inside of you and may your heart motive, this is according from the original, may your heart motive and your attitude behind your giving be from the inside of you that when God sees that, He will reward to you manifestly, openly, clear and obvious mm -hmm. for everyone to see <clears throat> that was displaying mm. your acts of giving before all men. In other words, God in, your, in, in, in that area of faith, when you step into the side of you that is the giving side, everything changes in your life. God begins to show up over your situation. God begins to manifest Himself. Now, I wanna cross-reference here to something just very quickly. You remember the story in, in, in the word in John when the disciples are going out fishing on the boat. All right, I, I want you to think about this because this is the exact same scripture that God showed me from Matthew in, in the book of John. Do you remember in, in John 21, down in, in about verse six, there's, there's a scripture where he says to them, he says, cast your nets mm -hmm. on the right side of the boat and you will find some. All right, he says that to the disciples. When you look at the original, that word side is not in the original. So Jesus speaking to the disciples, he's saying this, cast your net on the right. Now, if you know anything about fishing, you on a boat in a lake, whether you drop a line on the right or drop a line on the left, why would the fish be on the right of the boat and not on the left of the boat? Come on, you're in the middle. Have you ever thought about, I think about things like this, <laughs> all right? It's like, how can the fish be on the right side but not on the left? He wasn't talking about a side. The writers put the word side in the, in, when, when you study, and this is why, you, you know, I, I love going back into it. When you look at it and that word side in, in the King James Version is in an italics, which means it's not in the original. So, so, so Jesus saying to them, guys, get your net on the right. What was he saying? Your net has to be dropped in faith. That's it. You are in doubt. You are fishing because you are complaining about being out all night. You are in a place of, of, of utter frustration. despair, frustration in your life. The things of everything of, the, of the, the frustration of the night has played an effect on where you are. You will never be able to catch like that. And what he says is, he says, you've got to get yourself into a position of faith because if you get yourself into a position of faith, you get yourself into a position of receiving. Amen. 
Amen. So they had a direction to follow. Correct. Amen. They had a plan. Yeah. And when they obeyed him mm -hmm. and they released their faith, mm -hmm. the, the, the fish had to do that. Yeah, right. yeah. There was they, no they option. Had to, they had they, no option. They, they, they had to respond. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Now, now I, I st so I started studying the Bible. I started looking at left and right. Yeah, I was see and, and, and I started going through. There, there's just almost too much to even talk about here. But what about the sheep and the goats? <laughs> there you are. Come on, what, think about it. Just, just start studying it. Where do the goats go? On the left. On the, left. the doubt. On the yeah. doubt. Where, 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 where do the sheep go? The faith side. On the faith side. <laughs> All right. And I, I went right through, I went through the Bible and I got, I got to something that really, really blew me away and really set me in, in a thinking process of this to understanding that as born again believers and as men and women of God, people of faith, we have to live on the right. And, um, and, and, and I, want to, I want to read just something very quickly to you because I, I looked at the Blake's Medical Dictionary and I want, to, I want to touch on this just for a moment. Then I'm going to give you one last little thought here. <laughs> the Blake's Medical Dictionary, this is not the Bible, this is a medical dictionary, states that the human brain is made up of the cerebrum that consists of a left and a right side or ventricle Mm -hmm. Most of our operations such as speech, memory, taste, touch, emotions, physical senses and decision making operate from the left side. In other words, everything that we think about all day is left side. Physical sense. In the physical. According to an article written by Dorothy Leonard and Susan Strauss calling putting your company's whole brain to work, an analytical, logical and sequential approach to problem framing and solving left brain thinking clearly differs from the intuitive value-based or non-linear one right brain thinking. Now listen, this is where it gets good. <laughs> I would dare to say, <clears throat> now this is the dictionary, the, the Blake's medical dictionary. I would dare to say that left-minded thinking is based on natural circumstances and facts, while right-minded thinking is based on the supernatural faith in the unseen. That's it. That's it. This is in the this is in the Blake's. <laughs> yeah, that's it. Think about it. The natural man says seen is believing, while the born again spirit man says believing is seen. Amen. In other words, we've got to get to the believing, the faith it, side, yeah. which is when you operate on the faith side, that is the receiving side. And I went through the Bible and, and there was one thing that just hit me. And I want, to, I want to throw this out to you. Jesus, he hangs on the cross. Oh, come on. <laughs> A thief on his left and one on his right. One would not, but there was one yes, sir. that would receive. Amen. He was on the receiving side Amen. at that point. Yes, it's a place we've got to live. Yes. It's a place we've got to get into. It's a place we've got to position ourselves. Yes. Because when, 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 you, when you position yourself in faith on that place of receiving, it changes everything in your world because suddenly you no longer are affected. You are no longer controlled. You are no longer dominated with the fear, with the analytical thought process, with, with well, you know, I don't have enough. I, I, I can't do this. This is what I had learned, that we have to get yeah, out of this right. because yeah. in this journey of life, and Jen, you can add, yeah, well, this, this was the change we had to make. And you know what? Sometimes there's no information on the outside. So you could be in a situation where there is no logical or earthly way to do it. Right. Just like they said, there is no answer to put this 
structure up in the way that you have seen it without columns or without other structures to support it. But because God said it was gonna be that way, that means in the spirit, there is an answer already, which is why Kenneth Hagin said this once, and I, I, I just, I've actually put it on my computer. He said, if we can teach people how to follow their spirit, right. Right. we can spirit help led. them in every right. area of life. <laughs> So every mm. single born again child of God who's been baptized in the Holy Spirit, we have access to a reservoir right. of absolute right. divine That's right. intelligence. That's right. Well, the Spirit of God does that. Did God not give David the design of that temple? Come yes, on, come on. Absolutely. He wouldn't let him build it. That's right. So Solomon did, but he had a vision and he saw that. Yes, yes. yes. he saw it. Moses saw the tabernacle in the wilderness. Right. Because God designed it. Mm. It was a place for him to dwell. Amen. Yeah. This is really powerful. And yeah. you think about right and left. Yeah. And I was thinking, it follows that in just natural, it follows that in government thinking. Come on. The right is always conservative. The right is always to tend to lean toward God. Mm. And the left is socialistic. Yeah, yeah, come on. Mm -hmm. And that's where socialism came from. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. And Adam did it. That's right. Trying to, the light went out. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. And they were naked. Yeah. And they put together fig leaves, not knowing mm. what else to do. Correct. Yeah. But God had to step in. Mm. They were afraid. Mm. They were uncovered. Yeah. They tried to meet their own needs without mm -hmm. God. Without God. And that's what the, yeah. uh, the left-hand side of thinking right. always does. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Take him out of and, it. And it just, it just follows natural conversation. Mm -hmm. The left always, come on. That's where, they're, that's where socialism yep. came from. That's right. That's Socialism. Right. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Absolutely. And then you get the Tower of Babel, Yes. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And you, you get Nimrod, mm -hmm. then you get the first war. Yeah. Right. Yeah. And that's where the clash of the thinking yep. happens. Right. And it's still going on. Yeah. Oh, it has to. Yeah. And that's what we face every day. That is an amazing revelation, yeah. Andre. Mm -hmm. Every day. That's, that's it's what we just face. just amazing. And, and we have to. We have to, a choice. We, so we have to choose. Yeah. We have to push in, and you know th th that's why. I mean, even in the book, uh, and, and I, I deal with this in one whole chapter uh, in the book. And 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 the thing is this: we are the gift Hallelujah. of giving. Hallelujah. We we are the gift. It's not about a gift. It's about you are the gift of positioning yourself to always be a recipient. If you stay on faith. If you stay in faith. So Forgive God me. has dropped it in you. It's not about, I, I, I'm a believer of seed time and harvest. Don't misunderstand what I'm saying, but what I'm wanting you to realize, and you at home, I'm wanting you to realize you the gift. Amen. Who God Praise has made God. you to be. That's good. You position yourself at that perfect place of that right side, the giving side of God, that the position faith of faith. Amen. In every area of your life, yes, amen. and everything will come into. And I, I, for some, for everything. Some, for some reason or other, I'm, I know I'm. I know I'm speaking to someone. Um, the talent. Yes. That's a grace. Yeah. It's a gift. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And praise God. Had a very outstanding, very successful musician. Yeah. And he came to the Lord. And he said this, and think, think about what this means. Mm -hmm. Now, this is a talented person that comes into the family and says, I know we're going hungry here but I have to make it in this business. Mm. No, you don't. Go get yourself a job. Mm -hmm. 
oh, I'm, it's my music, it's my music. Mm. And he said this, he said, a carpenter never comes in and lays his hammer and nails down and says, I have to be a carpenter. And I can't do anything else but be a carpenter. Mm. Mm. I'm the only thing I'm good at and we'll go hungry till I become a carpenter. Mm. That's left hand thinking. Come on, Correct. come on. That's right. Pushing selfishness oh. come on. into a place and it just doesn't pay, pays no attention at all. Right, right. Now, Jesse Duplantis, and I talked about this, he didn't, he really didn't know any better. Yeah. Because of his situation, he had to start making a living. Mm. Well, he's a good guitar player, he's a good bass player, he's a good piano player. And so he's out on the street. Mm. And uh, he, was, he was playing in some joint someplace. Mm. And he had, <clears throat> he heard Billy Graham say something. <clears throat> couldn't get it off his mind. And after the break, he couldn't get what Billy Graham said off his mind. Mm. And all of a sudden, God took over Come his on. music. Come on, yeah, yeah, Praise yeah. God. He took over his music. Yeah, yeah. And he was so completely dedicated that he didn't want to do that anymore. Mm. He didn't want any part of that business anymore. Mm. I didn't either. Mm. I didn't want any part of it. Right. I wanted Jesus. Amen. Yeah. 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 Amen. I wanted the Word. Amen. Come on. And the only time I ever raised my voice to Gloria, we were in a little rent house and I don't even remember what started it there for a few minutes. And I was just going on and, and I, I, I came to myself. I just stopped, I said, oh, Gloria, you didn't deserve that. And I went over and just fell over on this couch. Now, I'm saying this for a reason. Here's all this music in my background. Here's all this, all this airplane business in my background. And one time, out of my God, oh, what happens if I flunk a physical? And all of this compounded in my life. And I fell over there on an old ugly green couch. I went to sleep. I thought I slept around the clock, but I realized when I woke up I didn't. She was right here. I said, oh, Gloria, I gotta preach. She said, I know it. <laughs> From that day to this, I don't care what happened. I never questioned the fact I'd called preach. Never come did on, she. Come on, come on. And most marriages would probably end it. That she, I deserved it. She could have just boxed my jaws. It'd have been fine. Mm. But she didn't. Love took over. Mm. And all of that other just went out the door. Come on, praise God. Come on. The decision was made. That's what triggered that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And we'll be back in just a moment. Mm -hmm. Glory to God. There are those who seem to have discovered the key to financial freedom. If abundant prosperity remains elusive to you, it's time to look again at what God says about giving and receiving. The Gift of Giving by Andre Raybert is a transformative journey into the heart of biblical generosity. Uncover key truths from Scripture about giving and dispel misconceptions surrounding principles of sowing and reaping. Your giving isn't just about what you offer, but the motive behind it. Learn how to release bold faith in receiving God's best for you through genuine, selfless giving. Debunk the myth that only anonymous or secret giving is blessed by God. Understand that giving with a pure heart is the true path to abundance. As you embrace the truths within this book, let the Holy Spirit work in your heart and witness a life overflowing with God's goodness and bountiful prosperity. You'll become a living testament to God's generosity, inspiring others and drawing them to a generous God who delights in blessing His people. Don't miss this amazing journey. Walk in the financial freedom God has for you. Get your copy of The Gift of Giving by Andre Raybert for only $7.99. Receive an in-depth look into how biblical generosity and giving lead to God's prosperity. Go to kcm.org slash TV special or call 800-600-7395 and get your book today. Offer good for 60 days. Outside the United States, shipping charges may apply. Contact your regional office for more information. 
Hello, I'm Larry Warren. Faith stays on the blessing side of life and it receives from God and stands victorious, while on the other hand, fear hinders and torments. The faith side has life, peace, healing, and prosperity, but the fear side tends towards death, sickness, and poverty. The good news is you can choose the side you want to live on. Jesus already defeated all the curse and paid the full price for you to have victory now and through eternity. All you have to do is receive him into your heart by praying this simple prayer. Lord, I confess my sins before you. I turn my life over completely. Take over and be the Lord of my life. I receive you as my savior. I receive your Holy Spirit. And I receive my new language. Thank you that I'm born again. Amen. Welcome to the family of God. Jeremiah 17, 7 is a picture of who you are now. Blessed is the man that trusts in the Lord and whose hope the Lord is. He shall be as a tree planted by the water that spreads out her roots by the river and shall not see when the heat comes. But her leaf shall be green and shall not be careful in the year of drought, neither shall cease from yielding fruit. As you begin your journey of faith, Kenneth and Gloria Copeland want to send you some free resources. It's called The Salvation Package, and it contains a book titled, He Did It All For You, as well as some information to help you start reading and studying your Bible today. This will help you learn who you are in Christ Jesus and who he is in you. To request your salvation package, go to kcm.org. But here it is, 2 Corinthians 5, 7. <clears throat> we walk by faith and not by sight. Amen. Yeah. Yeah. We're not moved by what we see mm. or what we feel. Not by feelings. That's right. We walk by faith. Hallelujah. We go against the feelings. We go against personal ideas. And we go with this book. Come on. Come on. Come on. And we'll be back about this same time tomorrow. Praise <laughs> God. And until then, remember, God loves you. And we love you. And Jesus, Jesus is Lord. Lord. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Thank you for joining us on the Believer's Voice of Victory. If you receive Jesus as your Lord and Savior, Kenneth and Gloria Copeland have a gift for you. It is called the Salvation Package. Learn about the new birth and how you can live your new life victoriously in Christ. Receive your free package on kcm.org salvation. Keep your heart full of God's Word and continue to grow in faith. Every believer has a voice, and it is the voice of victory.